everyone today we are going to discuss about relative density relative density the term relative is coming from the term relate relate means we will just find the density and we will relate this density with anyone else so firstly we will discuss about the formula of relative density relative density is equal to density of substance whatever substance we are just going to consider the relative density of the substance the density of that subject center substance and density of substance and division divided by in the denominator density of water at 4 degree celsius will come so this will be density of water at 4 degree celsius this is a common term whatever term whenever whatever substance we will find the relative density we will replace here but density of water at 4 degree celsius will be permanently every time in the as the denominator so what is relative density relative density is the ratio of density of substance and density of water at 4 degree celsius we can define in such atoms or some more ways are there to define like firstly we are going to say what is relative density relative density of a substance is defined as the ratio of its density its density means the density of the substance of that of water at 4 degree celsius we can see the ratio of what is relative density relative density is the ratio of density of that substance and the density of water particularly at 4 degree celsius now as we know density is equal to mass upon volume and here also density is equal to mass upon volume see simply volume of both the both can be same so if volume will be cancelled out we will able to get density of mass mass of substance and density uh, the relative density will be equal to the mass of the substance and the mass of the water at 4 degrees celsius so by this is also a way to get the relative density relative density of a substance can also be defined as the ratio between the mass of a substance and the mass of an equal volume of water at 4 degrees celsius continuously we are saying volume will be equal if volume will be equal then simply volume will be cancelled out density is equal to mass upon volume and here also mass upon volume this is mass of a substance this is mass of water but we are saying equal volume once volume will be equal once volume will be equal we can say volume will be equal means volume will be cancelled out so we will be able to get relative density is equal to the ratio of mass of the substance and mass of the water of equal volume the condition is that volume should be equal so we can understand this one more thing if mass of the substance will be more then relative density will be more mass of the substance will be less relative density will be less and when we are just thinking about this term of relative density as per the relative density we can define that whether relative density if any object like relative density we one more name is there for the relative density we can say specific gravity this is known as a specific gravity also a substance whose density is more than the water if we are comparing a substance whose density is more than the water we can say this substance is heavy substance because it has higher relative density and if relative density will be higher the body will sink body will float on this uh, relative density higher body will sink in the water but in the other hand whenever a object whose relative density is whose relative density is less who is less dense are known as lighter substance because they are lower they are having lower relative density so such type of objects floats in the water you can understand on the basis of their relative density like honey in the lowest one indicated relative density is highest because this is in lower one comparatively water in water is in middle because relative density will be or oil having less relative density than water means we can understand in such a term if we will consider with water higher density higher relative density that is why we can say sink honey is sinking in the water but oil is floating because oil's relative density is less compared to the water so by these terms we can understand relative density some applications are also there 
So these applications we will discuss later on in another video. Thank you very much.